hello, Gemini. In the wake and light of this reading, look what I finished. I finished this last night. Okay. That is the finished product. What do you think? It's kind of very alive. <laughs> the bottom, it's all oil. It's an oil-based painting. This is what she looks like. I paint, finished it last night in the dark, okay? That's how I paint. My favorite thing to do is to paint in the dark. Not complete dark, but pretty dark. Like, not in this much light. And then I look at the painting in the morning to see how I've done it. And so I finished this last night in the dark. And looking at it this morning, I am, oh my God, so in love with it. Um, and in the wake of this beautiful creation, because I've been smoking weed forever, and I've never drawn a marijuana leaf, okay? It's the first time I've ever drawn one. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And then, to give it oil, I was like, yo, I'm giving you so much respect. Like, I give weed so much respect. We're going to obviously do the pot tarot today. And um, we're going to do the Witches of Eastwick. That's what I just heard. <laughs> oh, considering I'm in the West, I'd be the Witch of the West, to be honest, which I'm pretty sure is the Wicked one. But whatever, we all got to play a role, right? All right, <clears throat> Gemini, let's do this. Yeah, it's Gemini, right? Why do I feel like, oh no, I got, I got Aries. I was like, why do I feel like I missed Leo? No, Leo is still coming. Maybe you need some strength, man. Oh yeah, we don't get that. You gotta remember with oil, is oil doesn't like to dry very easily. So, oh man, when I paint in the dark with oil, I end up coming into the bathroom, I have it all over my face. <laughs> oil is so much fun. If you paint, paint with oil. It is so much fun. I had so much fun doing that. Just moving the, you can just move the paint around. Just move it. Chills. Chills up your spine. Like the hills that incline. Chills. All I can see is hill in the middle of that word. Okay. What are we chilling about here? Are you going to give me anything else? Oh, there's one. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Mary Mother, Eminem, and Crone. Two M's and two C's. Five, five, eight. I don't know. I've been looking at numbers recently. Like numbers, I always see numbers. Like if I'm at work and a bill will print up. Like I, print, I think I printed this bill last night that was $29.99. Like how the fuck did it get there? With a couple of dinners and some GST. What the fuck? $29.99. Like some, some numbers, they really stand out to me. And I'll always, I'll point them out to customers too. I'll be like, do you see that number? And they'll be like, whoa. They have, I don't think they really care. Some do. Some are like, yo, look at this. And they'll point it out to me. I'm like, I didn't even notice that. Oh, I think I got twenty-seven seventy-seven yesterday. That's what I think I got. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know, man. Something with numbers. So two fives and an eight. I feel like somebody, okay, let's, let's do this. Okay. In the arms of mothering embrace swells a wisdom full of grace in thy bosom where she in thy bosom where she whispers sleep the eye of winter okay and then with chills I upon, upon my flesh within thy bones quivers a crawling frozen in numbness. Shall I ignore or shall I bestow it? 
a frozen knowing looks back at thy soul with crone thy wisdom befriends the honor in which weaves within blood a harrowing call from the depths of your sacredness What are you doing? Okay. I'm not going to read these, but what I am going to do. Okay, we got some wisdom coming in here. Divine wisdom coming in. Feminine... Okay, so this, okay, I think Mother Mary has stepped into the reading. And if you're religious, you're going to love that, okay? If you're not religious, it doesn't really matter. I'm not religious. I'm not a religious person, but I believe in things. I know the story of Mother Mary. Avi. Okay, <clears throat> why am I putting this away? She's got something to say, y'all. This woman has got something to say to Gemini. Oh, sweet Gemini. This might give you chills, okay? This might give you chills. This is a wake-up call or a warning. Oh, you might be stepping into a role of a sacred run. My sister just coughed in the kitchen. Oh my God, that's what it is. Like I told you, I don't, I'm not actually going to read these, but <clears throat> it's warning. There's This is a warning sign. There's, the universe is giving you warnings about this. Somebody, I think somebody is going to die. Wisdom lessons honor. <clears throat> Pulling crone is a sign to seek guidance from somebody more experienced. Your situation may need another party to act as a mediator or to help you see things from an unbiased point of view. It is likely a woman or someone with a motherly quality who will help you. This person, okay, I don't know. It could be, they could be talking about me giving you this reading or somebody, I, I think I'm going to read it the way that I originally read it, which is, um, like, I mean, the message has to come through me no matter what. So feminine energy is coming in like a motherfucker, okay? Um, to get this message that you're being warned, um, chills is about getting in um, before the storm comes. You have to seek shelter before the storm comes or you're going to freeze to death, okay? And maybe someone has been warned about this death and they're not taking it seriously, like, I feel like I've got to, no, like, I mean, I said I was going to use this deck and like, <laughs> the pot tarot is such a fun deck that I feel like this is not the right energy, but hey, maybe this is the pot saying, you know what? There are serious situations too, okay? It can't just be all fun and games all the time, Whitney, okay? We are ready to tell somebody a message. And now my, I got a huge pirate ship on my leg and it is itchy all of a sudden. So like, man, you really might be going somewhere. Or somebody else is going somewhere. I don't really know. Okay, what's the warning? Oh. I don't know. That's a pretty dark message right there. Do I need that one? As I say that, <laughs> there's Pisces. <laughs> okay, so we've got this two of buds, which I can't help but see the scales. Okay, that, that's what this always reminds me of. I mean, what it's about is choosing one. 
they both weigh the same which one are you going to smoke okay um and then we've got the four buds which is holding on okay and then we've got this seven of buds in reverse which is the seven of pentacles in reverse so somebody um has been working in vain they've been holding on to i think they've been holding on to the scales themselves in your life okay and they've been choosing what you do you're gonna do this you're gonna do that and because they're an older person uh you listen to them I mean, it's a sign of respect, sure, but you feel probably that because they're older, they're a little bit more wiser, they know what they're talking about. But it's 2023 now. I mean, a lot of people got behind, you know what I mean? Even this old ass person, they got behind, okay? And they, I think, are controlling somebody. I think this is the message. I think this older person, it's, the card is bothering me altogether okay so it's like i'm just gonna cover her eyes up i don't know she's just looking at me weird so yeah that's i don't like that card okay and and like i love the decks it has nothing to do with the card but i don't like what it's saying right now because i feel like somebody um that's been telling you to do things that's backwards okay my sister had a friend like this, okay? And this friend's advice in my sister's life was so bad that my sister would come to me and tell me what this girl told her to do. And I'd be like, you take everything she says and you do the opposite. My sister, she's been kind of like a liar for most of her life. Um, we were taught by the best how to lie, my mom and my dad, okay? and my stepmother, and my pedophile fucking stepfather, okay? Everybody lies in my family, everybody. For some reason, they all call me a liar. I only tell the truth. <laughs> but it's because my truth is so fucked, because that's what fucked is, right? And, like, my sister, she, um, she only lied, okay? And this girl... My sister was trying to make amends with some people of the past, okay, that she had lied to. She didn't want to carry it anymore, and she was grown up, and she thought, you know what, I'm not going to lie anymore. I'm going to tell the truth. And she went and talked to this girl about it, and she, her plans on going to tell the truth. And this girl actually looked at her and goes, why would you go and tell the truth? I'm sorry. Why would I go and tell the truth so I can make amends with the things that I've lied about? Like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, okay, you officially don't listen to anything she says. And she's like, I know, I, I, this is the worst advice. And, and like this girl, all she ever wanted to do was mother my sister and me, right? Just like, oh my God, her mother died. So she thought she had this bestowed wisdom upon her, of her dead mother. And she was such an amazing creature and she knew what was best. Even though she was banging half the town behind her husband's fucking back and she was the biggest liar I'd ever met in my life. She wanted everybody to take advice from her. Are you fucking kidding? What, how to act like an idiot? How to look like an idiot? How to dress like an idiot? She, this girl was an idiot altogether. I wouldn't make a single choice that she makes. Ever. Never. She's an, she's, my, she's my definition of an idiot. Literally. What an idiot is, is this girl. She's not even a woman. She's a girl. And she's got a baby face that she tries to use. And I'm like, nobody, if you want a dude that wants to fuck babies, honestly, good for you. Go and get him. Baby face. Ugh. Called fat face. Anyways, it's like this person's wisdom was so bad that now it's like you have to clear your memory, okay? Which is maybe why the moon is there. It's like, see how she's smirking, right? She's looking up at, at what she's done in the dark. And, and she's held somebody pretty fucking close, knowing that everything she was saying was a lie. Everything. 
knowing that she was just going to put this person into a place where they didn't get to make any decisions themselves. Okay. And like, if you get high, you get paranoia. What is your paranoia about? Because whatever it's about, you can handle it. Trust me. And the second you handle it and get it together that anything could happen at any fucking point in time, you'll love weed. Okay? Love it. Because it's the most calming, most sensual, most beautiful thing you could possibly do with your day. Smoke a fucking fatty and chill the fuck out. You wouldn't believe it. I, I almost immediately stopped drinking. I was like, this is what I've needed my whole life. It's like an ADHD patient finally getting their meds. A schizophrenic patient finally getting their meds, right? Like finally getting the right dose, the right energy, the right amount, right? This is over with. It's like the world is giving you this. <clears throat> it's coming from two different spaces. And I can't help but look at that bong, so I think it's a cup that's coming in. And if you got chills through this reading, good for you, because that's what this was about. Whoa, beautiful. Okay, so I do believe that somebody gets a fresh start from being out of this life, okay? But the thing is, is that I still feel like somebody goes from being in a jar to in a bag. And you put that however the fuck you want, but that's how I see it. So you have to then decide where to put your energy, okay? Because your life might kind of like spiral a little bit out of control for a second until you get the reins back. Because somebody has not had control of their life at all, okay? So it might, like I said, it might be a little like getting, you know, your sea legs. Like you just been on a ship for a very long time and now you're going to go on to land. And it's going to be a little bit like, whoa, is everything still moving? No, honey, just you, okay? And this is magic. Do you believe in magic? I hope you do. There's always someone standing next to you when it's magic, right? Something that was stolen is going to be given back. Okay? Again, this, some, your whole life went into the underground. Okay? And whatever you created, whatever you did, it all went to the underground. That was the whole part of this theviism. Oh man, I put two sevens on top of each other. Seven of buds and seven of pipes. So seven, seven, this is, uh, this is pretty divine timing right here. Okay. Um, for this person that's been doing this in the dark for so long, they've had complete control of your life and now there's freedom. 10 of bongs, bongs all around, bongs here, bongs there, bongs everywhere. Weed falling from the sky. Could you imagine? Oh man, I'd be taking that day off work. Mama gotta go make me some weed rain. All right, anything else? Yeah, there it is. Dun, 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 dun. We've crowned you. Shut the front door. Oh yeah, no, okay, that's eight of buds. Okay, so. King of bongs, eight of bongs. All right, to a new pipe. Okay, so life is looking up here. Don't worry about it. Something new is coming in, and I think it's this king of bongs. Like maybe you just step in. There's the queen. So what up with these two? Strength. Yo, I told you Leo was going to come through. I just freaking didn't know how. Ooh. I mean, if this person's had control of your life, they've most likely, ooh, number one stoner. Six of wands. So this gets pretty cool. Um, the hair font. Yeah, that's this whole, like, believe in magic thing. 
is I think that something is going to happen for somebody here. Um, because, I mean, if this person has been controlling your life, um, you could have been with the wrong spouse. Like, this is a whole new direction. It's like, it's like the tree comes, um, it's like you get your tree back and you're just like, okay, I'm, I'm plucking everything off right now. I'm not leaving my buds on my tree any fucking more because it just got stolen and somebody took it all over and now I've got this plant back and I ain't fucking around with it again. I'm not just going to let it grow. I'm going to spend it. I'm going to do something with it, right? So, and maybe when you go sell your weed, you meet this guy because I think that this is you coming back together right obviously somebody took a pretty big piece of you and it's been kind of a very strengthly um, period of time here trying to get your strength back okay knowing how to do things piece by piece um, because this person's control was so bad that they took things and then you're, you're the one that had to get them back piece by piece, only most likely for them to get stolen again, right? So someone's really had to like chain their life up in a, in a really bad way, okay? And to have freedom again, is is going to shock somebody i think maybe that's where the chills come from is like getting rid of this old ass energy that's been in your energy for so long it's like a whole new canvas right which is probably why you have the number one stoner because that's the award you know for for doing this saying something moving forward getting off the couch buying something new right it's like you can't stay with the old all the time there is a point where you need something new and this new thing coming in um you've waited for long enough all right like this person had control for way too long and it might be a little bit um scary to get your strength back again Right? It's confinement. It's like what they say about some people that go to jail, right? They get institutionalized. And then they need to go back because they can't live in society anymore. They're different. Society is not the same. Right? They need those four walls again. So I almost feel like there could be kind of like possibly that kind of feeling of, um, yeah. I do feel like the piece of the puzzle is done now. You know, like the whatever you were confused about because your life wasn't in your control. It's because, you know, I think a lot of that is going to change now, right? You're suddenly going to be in your body. This is going to be a huge body change. Maybe that's why it's the chills because you could physically be having the chills right now. And that's you, um, getting this old thing off of you this old woman off of you like I feel like an old woman is haunting somebody okay and she gives you the chills because she's right fucking there but you can't see her so you don't know that she's there but she's right there okay and it's that chills that go up and down your spine okay watch the sixth sense it's like you know somebody's there well they are there that's why you feel like they're there because they are there so this haunting of this old woman is done. And I think that's why Mother Mary's the one who had to bring the energy in because this haunting was so bad that nobody wanted to talk about it. But she could bring in the energy to me. So then this thing didn't bring the energy to me. Because then it probably would have haunted me. So this old woman has definitely been keeping two people apart. And it's been very hard to do this. But luckily, they're huge stoners, so it's okay. You know, you just get high, forget about it, whatever. Shit will come together when it comes together. And I was always right. Shit will come together when it's supposed to come together. There's no point in getting mad about it. Or there's no point in, like, 
you know, you're allowed to feel like, hello, you were just being haunted. You're allowed to feel that. Okay, I'm not going to take that away from you. So you, this is going to be a huge journey for somebody of, of getting control back again. Right, so getting in the driver's seat again, someone's been in the passenger seat for way too long, right? Getting that control back. Like who knows how long this old woman's had control over you? Who knows, right? Could have started when you were a kid. You know how voodoo old ladies fucking work? They're the worst. Anyways, <clears throat> we're gonna wrap this up. Thanks for watching. It was a wonderful reading. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an old woman haunting. Thanks. Anyways, it is what it is. Whatever. Um, if you want a personal reading, Whitney Moonshot at gmail.com. Um, if you don't, whatever, you can enjoy the show. <laughs> the show. The, the channel, the readings, whatever you want to call it. Maybe it is a show. Uh, as long as it's not the Oprah show. Jesus. Ugh. Um, yeah. Happy whatever fucking day of the week it is. And thanks for subscribing and liking and sharing and all those wonderful things that you guys do. You're so friggin' nice. Um, thank you for all of it. Uh, and definitely thank you for liking. Because not very many people like the videos. And when you like the videos, it shows, it like, promotes them or whatever. I don't know. So if you want to like them, like them. As long as you don't dislike them. There's no really need for that, but if you want to, you can. It uh, doesn't, doesn't bother me. Anyways, peace out. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. I'm not going to keep repeating myself. Goodbye.